marketing researcher of First National Bank, Daniel Kaviche, says that there are various legislations which are contributing to the decrease in demand for housing in Namibia. Kaviche made these remarks in an interview with the News on One as he reviewed the housing prices for the second quarter of this year. One of the factors which has led to the decline in housing sales is the introduction of the Credit Agreement Act. For a lot of individuals, the monthly payments that they're making towards their cars are going to pick up. So you would opt and hope that most individuals would rather consider property over vehicles. But Namibian past behavior has shown that, that they tend to equate the two to be the same. So if a person's premiums have gone up in terms of vehicle purchases, they may hold on from buying property until they feel like property is a little bit affordable. Kavisha added that many people are reluctant to buy property because of the uncertainty in the market. A lot of people are still quite jittery about participating in the housing market simply because they're uncertain about what the future holds. So if you look at people who normally sit at the low end, first-time buyers, uh, people who have participated also for a longer time, a lot of information has been spewed in the market uh, regarding the dynamics as to where price volumes are going, regarding what new legislation could bring into the market. Namibians face further threats from rising costs of electricity and water, as well as the expected long-term maintenance costs of these properties.